What's up everybody? I've had a lot of interest in how to manual swap a Cresta lately, so I figured I might as well make a video on it and uh, try to help a few of you all out. Um, this isn't going to be the only way you can swap one. This is just the way that I have done it and it's probably the easiest way to do it and the most cost efficient to do it also. Uh, I went with the W58, which you can find in a lot of Toyota vehicles. Uh, you can go with the R154, but that's going to be a lot harder to find and usually when you do find them they're a lot more expensive because they came in the turbo cars. Uh, you can, there's a few other transmission swaps out there you can do, but like I said they're not as cost efficient or easy to do as the W58 because the W58 came stock in a lot of the 7M cars and the 7M is what engine is in the MX-83. This video is just for the MX-83 Crestas. I'm not sh exactly sure how the swap works in the earlier models, but I know a lot of people also swap the W58 into the MX-73s too. So there's a lot of info out there. It's just spread out all over the place. So I'm just trying to get uh, everything kind of in one place for people that are looking to do the swap. A lot of this stuff, that I use for this swap, you can find uh, online new. You can also source it from other cars. I know that the clutch master cylinder you can, is used with the, some of the Celicas and the SC300s. You can get a, some people use clutch pedals out of uh, AE86s, which are probably hard to find. And I'm not sure if you can use the clutch pedal out of a Supra or anything, but. The retailers that I used for parts online were uh, Excessive Manufacturing, which is one of the best uh, Cresta parts makers out there. Excessive Manufacturing is one of the best places to go if you have a Cresta or a Toyota vehicle. They make all kinds of different aftermarket stuff and it's all really, really good quality and I'm, they have great customer service. I also use Injuku Racing and Drift Motion, which I'm sure a lot of people know about already, but they have all kinds of stuff for uh, Crestas and other Toyota vehicles too. I'm gonna go over uh, the things you'll need for this swap. Uh, first thing is the W58 transmission, which comes in a few cars. You could mainly find them in uh, MK3 non-turbo Supras in the United States anyway. For the stuff you'll need, you're gonna need uh, obviously the W58 transmission, which came in uh, third gen Celica's MK2 Super, some of them. Uh, MK3 and MK4 non-turbo. Uh, some rare Crestas, which if you, you might as well just buy the Cresta if it has a manual. I don't know if they even came in manual in the United States or not. Uh, and SC300s also came manual, but those are also pretty rare to find, at least from stock from the factory. Uh, the easiest place you're gonna find them are in MK3 non-turbo Supras and occasionally you can find them in junkyards and stuff so that's where I would probably start looking or on some of the forums. Uh, usually you can find some pretty good deals and stuff. You're gonna need the non-turbo MK3 uh, bell housing. If you don't know what a bell housing is, it's the piece that attaches to the transmission, bolts on, and then the bell housing bolts onto the engine and it uh, encloses your clutch and flywheel and stuff. You're gonna need a uh, W58 to a 7M clutch pressure plate and flywheel, which you can all buy new in kits and stuff, and I got that at uh, Njuku Racing. You can get lower quality ones or you can get higher quality ones, it just depends on what you're gonna use the car for. Uh, usually they start around like 350 bucks for the whole kit. I need a uh, clutch pedal, which excessive manufacturing actually makes new pedals that people can buy and they come with the master cylinder attached to and they run about 150 150 bucks i don't look lately that's about what i paid for mine you're gonna need a clutch line which excessive manufacturing also makes they make uh, braided steel lines that are cheap really good can't really complain you're gonna need a mk3 non-turbo front drive shaft or you're gonna have to get a custom drive shaft made uh, the front halves are extremely hard to find. I couldn't even find them on eBay. For the time and money you're gonna spend looking for one, it's just better just to get a custom drive shaft made. They're like 
300 bucks and they're rated up to like 700 horsepower depending on where you get them from. So that's what I did. Nothing's gone wrong so far. Great quality and that's what I would suggest to anyone. You're gonna either need to get a different uh, train support bracket or you're gonna have to modify the existing one. When I was browsing the forums, they suggested just to make the bolt holes wider on the transport bracket, but for me, uh, it was easier to just cut the outsides of the trans bracket off and just weld new pieces of metal that had, like already had the bolt holes lined up and measured correctly. So it just bolt, bolted straight to the car. And if if you have access to a welder or you, can, you know a shop that can weld, uh, it's probably easier to do that and you know it'll fit really well. Probably the hardest part for me was the neutral start wiring. Um, luckily, there, all the work's been done on the internet and there's people smarter than I am with uh, electrical wiring diagrams and stuff that have uh, made diagrams and stuff that I could look at. But I'll post a link to the diagram that I found on the forums in case anyone isn't very good with uh, electrical wiring diagrams and they can just look at pictures and see what to do. This stuff is optional depending on what you're using the car for. If you're using it for a daily driver, I would suggest doing this stuff. Uh, you're gonna need reverse light wiring, which I didn't do. It's not necessary in Kentucky, but I know to get registration in other states, you're gonna need uh, your reverse lights to work. I didn't get a longer speedo cable. It's not that big of a deal to me. I know you can get download apps on your phone to use as a speedometer and all that good stuff. So it's not really that necessary. You're probably gonna have to modify like a shifter boot because the automatic transmission didn't have one in these cars. And uh, I bought one online. They're extremely cheap. You just get a universal one. I made a bracket in the for the interior of this and I'll show you that in a minute. This swap's not really that hard. If you have another person helping you, it takes maybe a day or two. Uh, if you're really good at swapping, if, you're, if you've done swaps before, like you could probably knock this out in an evening or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd recommend it if you like Cressida's. It makes the car way more fun to drive. Um, there, I haven't had any issues so far. This is the excessive clutch pedal. Uh, when you install this, you're gonna have to uh, trim the brake pedal because it's too wide. I'm pretty sure most automatic cars have like huge brake pedals. So you're gonna have to take that out of the car and trim it up unless you just uh, cut it up inside the car. Like I said, it depends on uh, what you're using the car for. Also to install this, you're gonna have to like take apart the dash, take apart like the lower dash to get to the bolt holes. There are pre-drilled holes in the firewall that the uh, pedal attaches to. I'll uh, show you in the engine bay. Right here, this is the master cylinder. As you can see, there's uh, already a little spot. I don't know if you can see my finger. There's already a little spot in the firewall where this would go from the factory and you just bolt it straight in there and bolt it to the clutch pedal. And this is the braided wire. And it goes down to the slave cylinder on the transmission. I can't get to the neutral start wiring right now, but the picture that I found, it's exactly what I did. And it's pretty straightforward, so I don't think anyone can mess that up. But if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done for the shifter boot. To get to that stuff, you just pop this plastic piece up. Pull the shifter boot. Um, as you can see, there's the transmission right there. And under here is the little, is the metal part of the trans tunnel. Um, and these, there's a bolt on each corner, there's four of them. That's where the automatic shifter was. After you pull that up, you're gonna have uh, a bunch of open space. And if I didn't have this bracket here, this shifter boot would just be kind of flopping around. So uh, I just made 
there's a piece that bolts to the trans tunnel and then it has little brackets that holds the top part and I just kind of measured it to uh, as close as I could as the outline of this and then all you have to do is pretty much tack weld it together and then it fits really well also I suggest uh, saving the rubber off the automatic uh, shifter because it blocks out all the road noise and exhaust gases if you have like an exhaust leak or whatever so um, it, it makes the car a lot quieter just having this little rubber piece like block out all the wind and stuff also my transmission didn't come with a shifter so i bought a uh, cube shifter off ebay that ran like 150 bucks for the shift knob and the shifter and it's a short shifter It's a short shifter, it comes in uh, two pieces. And the uh, cube makes shifter bushings too. Uh, I'll, if yours is destroyed, which it probably is because these transmissions are like 25, 30 years old, um, I would suggest that they're pretty cheap and extremely uh, good quality and customer service. If you don't want to get a cube shifter or anything, R154 and W58 are, uh, they're the same. They bolt up the same way. Uh, they're, and they're, they're universal, so you can get whatever you want pretty much. So yeah, this uh, swap is really simple. Uh, you don't need to get an aftermarket ECU or source another ECU from the car. Uh, all the wiring from your stock automatic Cressida will, it should work if it hasn't been modified so yeah the swap is pretty simple and it's not expensive to do so if y'all need any more help just uh, feel free to leave a comment below if you like this please subscribe and uh follow us on instagram if you haven't and 